Welcome to the Learn to Sew Academy channel. Please remember to subscribe. Thank you. What I'm going to be doing in this video is a simple top like this. I'm going to be using a lace fabric. So at this edge right here, I want to put the edges of the lace. And then over here, I also want to use uh, part of the edges of the tri of the lace here. So um, because of that, I'm going to use um, a paper first to cut it. Because again, I want this right here, this v-neck. I want to form a v-neck and I want it to be the end of the list that I'm using. So I'm going to be using this list right here. And I'm trying to form a V, something like this, at the front. And there are different ways you can do it. You can either cut it and then you can either cut your fabric, cut the style out, and then cut the edges here. I used to form your V. That's one way you can do it. But because I want this edge to extend further down to the middle of the blouse, so I'm going to cut a paper and I'll use the paper as a pattern to cut my um, top. So what I'm doing here, this is just exactly what I did in the princess that dress that I made. The only difference is that this is shorter and I'll link that in the description for you to see how I made that. So I'll quickly run over what I've done here. I've simply measured the length of the blouse that I'm using and I added any necessary allowance for the shoulder as well as for the bottom of the um, of the blouse for the ending. So what I'm going to be doing is, again, we're going to have a princess cut right here. So for my princess cut, the nipple to nipple was eight and a half. So I divided that by two to get me 4.25. So what I did here, first of all, was I did the shoulder. Again, refer to my video on the princess cut to see this process. So what I did there was I did my shoulder. I took the shoulder right here from the middle. And then I came down 10 inches and I took my bust measurement right here. And then I came down from the shoulder to what I have for my half length, right from the shoulder down like that. And it is at this point that I took the measurement for my waist. And then I came further down by eight more inches and I took my measurement for my hip. Now, when I was doing that, I had to put into consideration the same allowances at the sides of the blouse. And I also had to put the, into consideration the same allowance here at the middle. Because this is a princess cut, we're going to be cutting this in the middle and rejoining it. So because we're going to cut and rejoin, we need to have half an inch on this side and half an inch on the other side, which is what we're going to use to join it together. So right there, you will need to have an extra one inch right here for the middle. And then you have to have an extra one inch or if you've decided to use half an inch for your same allowance over here, you will need to have an extra half an inch, whatever you want to use for your same allowance. In this project, I used one inch for my same allowance on the side, and I'm using one inch for the middle one. Again, I'm going to cut this and join it together by half an inch each. So what you're going to do in that case is you'll take your bust measurement and you're going to add additional two inches. This is on the fold already, and this is the front. So I'm adding additional two inches to whatever I needed to measure here. Now, for instance, in this case, the bust is 40 inches. So I divided 40 by four, because when you're cutting, we're cutting on the fold, and we took the measurement by going around the body. So this is the front. We're going to have another portion that will be for the back, which will also be folded into two. So that's why we're dividing by four. So what I'm doing here is 40 divided by four. That gave me 10. And then I'm adding one inch for my joining in the middle. 
and one inch here so also all together i'm looking at 12 inches which is what i used here for my bust uh, measurement the same goes for the waist whatever your waist is i have added additional two inches to the waist to measure for the waist and i added additional two inches for the hip to measure for my hip right here so the next thing i did was to connect from my bust line to my shoulder point to form my armhole and i have a video that explains how you do your arm armhole extensively i'll also link that in the description so you can check that out and the next thing i did was now to form my v-neck i want a v-neck for this i have another tutorial on youtube where you can see the different necklines you can do and how to do those neckline look in the description i would include that too so what i'm gonna do here now is i'm gonna um connect this to the armhole area so that i can cut this paper and then i'll use it as my template so what i'm doing here is i'm just taking five inches from the top i already did my shoulder slant right here so i'm just going to do five inches from the top here which is this point right there and what i'm going to do is i want to connect this right here which is my nipple to nipple or the bust span or you can also call it the apex so what i have here again was eight and a half divided by two which gave me 4.25 and i added my half an inch of seam allowance that is what this line is and i've done this all the way to the end so all of this is 4.75 so what i want to do is now i want to join this from the armhole area i want to connect it all the way like that and you can also use a french cuff if that's going to help you better and you don't want it to be sharp you want to give it some cuff right there so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to now cut this paper so this right here is my middle section so this is what i want to do i want this to be around here like that that's the way i want it and then there'll be a second one that will have that like that so because of that that's why i'm using the paper because i'm going to manipulate it and get it to form what i need there are other ways too you can do that without using a paper but maybe easier for you if you're just doing this for the first time So you can either do this like this and you cut it but when you cut this remember that we're going to join the mid point the middle here we're going to join it so you want to put that into consideration you want to leave half an inch to join it in the middle when you cut this so this is what you're going to have I hope you can see this this is what the center is going to look like if i cut it like this that's the center right there again we're going to join it so you want to leave an extra right there i want the v to correspond to my to the edge of my paper and i'll use a pin real quick to hold this in place i'm leaving a little space So at this stage, you may want to check it to see if this is what you want. This is what I want. I like how this is here like that. All the way down here. I like that. And then remember, we're joining it. So we're going to leave your half an inch right here. if you want to do one inch you can do that too or 0.75 whatever you want to do i'm going to do half an inch that's just what i want to measure here now 
now i'm adding this half an inch because i'm going to join it in the center front so that i can have this um lace edges concentrated at the center that's the only reason i'm adding the half an inch other than that the rest of my paper already have the um, allowances incorporated into it so i'm not going to be adding any allowance to the side when i start cutting because i already did that before cutting this paper so what i'm gonna do next now is i'm just going to join this all the way down just to guide me when i'm cutting the fabric so i ensure i have a really straight line now i'm going to cut you want to make sure everything leaves flat as you cut and now i'm going to do the shoulder slant okay and i'm done with that side i'll just remove my pins from it so this is the first uh, front so i'm gonna make a second one like that so um when you do this make sure that your fabric mirrors each other that's very important you don't want to cut them facing the same way so i'm just going to turn it so that um, i'm gonna be having right side to right side i'm gonna place this on top of this again rem remember this edge that we're using have to match the other edge again you can hold it in place with a pin if you feel that it's shifting or you can also just um put some weights on it if that helps so that completes the middle section and this is going to have a uh, um, lining so i'm going to be cutting the lining later so this is what it's looking like just to show you real quick this is what i'm going to be having in the front so after i join this so it's going to look like that so i'm going to join the middle so this is what my front will look like now to the side of the front i'm just checking the pattern to see what will work best for the sides so like i always explain when you walk in when you're making um a, an outfit or anything don't ever feel intimidated just take your time think this through you know because fashion is what you make it to be so I'm just looking and checking if I like it this way or if I want it another way. I think I'm going to have the side like this. And of course there's going to be a lining under. Let's see what it's going to look like. okay so this is gonna look good so this is just how you just think through you know you take your fabric you think through it's just like um doing an art like you're an artist really so you just think through does this look good you know i like that is coming down vertically as opposed to having it go horizontally you know i like the vertical look like that so this is just um, 
how you just look at your fabric and see what do i want you know this could have been good too just this part but i think i prefer how it looks with a vertical one so the sides i'm gonna cut this for the sides so this is what i have for the side so for the side i can cut the two together i'm just going to fold it like that so now i'm going to cut this out again i'm just cutting the exact because i already put all the allowances i need in there So what we're going to have is simple. So this is what it's going to look like. If you wanted this to be wider, when you cut it, you want to slant it some more. You know how we cut this? We slanted the paper. We just slanted some more. Click the link in the description to see the next part of this video. Thanks for watching. And remember to subscribe and leave us a thumbs up. Thank you.